so by OCC Cream Concentrate and I'm putting that on my lid all the way up to my brow with an Urban Decay Synthetic Brush. As a backup lid color, I'm using Ink Pink Color Tattoo Metallic and I'm putting that on my lid with my finger for a smooth application. I'm taking a piece of tape to use as a guide. I'm using the Satin Shadow Girly by MAC with a 239 MAC brush and I'm going to set that ink pink metallic color on my lid all the way up to my crease. As a background crease color, I'm using Kid by MAC and a TG angled brush. And I'm going to work the color into my crease and follow it all the way down into the inner corner of my eye. Now taking this pink color by MAC, Miss Piggy, and a crown angled brush, I'm going to begin working in the pink color into my crease following my natural eye shape. Now I'm taking this Pro Color Damson by MAC and a Sigma E47 crease brush and I'm going to begin defining the outer V, placing most of the color in the outer corner and then dragging it up using the shape of the brush into my crease. Let the music be your mind. Let the music be your mind. The width of the brush is going to place the exact amount of color I want to place into my crease and I'm going to blend the color back and forth. I'm taking carbon and a small shader brush by Sigma and I'm going to begin putting that into my crease and lining the upper lash line. A good tip for hooded eyes is to use a dark matte color in the crease area. This camouflages the part where the skin begins to hang over the lid and also using a dark matte color like black adds depth and definition to a smoky eye. Using what's left over on that angled brush from TG, I'm going to blend out carbon. Going back with the 239 and putting Girly back on the lid and careful not to go into the outer V. Careful not to blend any definition. I'm going in with a matte white eyeshadow and a small blending brush from Sigma and I'm concentrating on the highest point of my brow and the inner corner of my eye. To soften carbon but not take away any of the darkness, I'm adding more Dampson to the inner crease. Mr. DJ, Mr. DJ, play my favorite song. Now I'm taking a white pigment from OCC and a small lid precision brush from Sigma and I'm going to place that pigment on the highest point of my brow and the inner corner of my eye. To blend it out, I'm using a small blending brush from Sigma. Taking a black gel liner from Makeup Forever and a MAC 266 and I'm going to begin drawing the outer wing. I will finish the eyeliner after I apply my lashes. My favorite lashes, Demi Wispies by Ardell. Before I apply my lashes, I like to wiggle them back and forth. Another good tip is to place them close to the lash line as possible. To secure them into place, you can use a cotton bud. Press down and roll up to secure them in place. 
is enough to drive somebody insane We all need time to blow off steam Let yourself go and get lost in the beat While the glue and the lash is set, I'm taking HD foundation by NYX and putting two squirts on my mirror and using a Real Technique Expert brush. A good tip for foundation is to begin doing one side of your face at a time, applying the foundation in downward strokes towards your neck. So you want to use the least amount of foundation possible so it won't settle in your fine lines or any wrinkles. For a more flawless application, you want to conceal after you apply your foundation. demarcation applied to your neck area. This also allows for a seamless transition. To conceal underneath my eyes and use as a highlight, I'm using HD concealer in CW03 Light. Good tip for concealing is to use the least amount of concealer possible. Place it in the darkest area of your eyes and blend upwards using tapping motions lightly. You don't want to pat too hard for this could cause puffiness. I'm taking the Urban Decay Naked Flush Palette. I'm going to use the Bronzer to Contour and a 27 Ray Morris brush. This bronzer is perfect to contour with, especially since I've done dramatic dark eyes. As you can see, it leaves no contour line and it's very well blended. A good tip to bronze is to place the bronzer in the hollow points of your cheek. For a perfect oval shape, contour on each side of the chin. The work is hard, it's Friday night and I'm gonna get down. I'm, gonna keep on I'm using a angled brush from Chrome. When doing dramatic eyes, you want to use a subtle blush, and this blush is subtle rose in color. Good tip when applying blush is to blend the blush in with the bronzer. Defining the lower lip with a shader brush from Sephora. For a straight nose, contour the sides. Is enough to drive somebody insane. We all need time to blow off steam. Let yourself go and get lost. To highlight, I'm using a Real Technique setting brush. I light the highest points of your cheeks and the temples. Tap the product into your skin 
Do not rub. I'm brushing the excess powder away with a blessing brush from Crown. I'm using Damson to smoke out the lower lash. And a 219 brush from MAC. Stila liner. For a softer look, I'm using the tip of the liner. Carbon and a 266 brush by MAC to set the eyeliner. Laura Mercier brightening powder to blend away any fallout. When applying lipstick, it's good to use a lip brush. This controls the amount of product put on your lips and also to layer the product for a more precise application. Play my favorite song. Mac Fix Plus and a small brush. Going to apply Pink Freeze to the inner corner of my eyes. Almost forgot mascara. Ardell mascara to blend my lashes to the false lashes. Here is the finished look. Mm. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being subscribed and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I appreciate it and I will see you in the next video. Bye!